വെൽക്കം ടു ഗുഡ് ഫുഡ് ആൻഡ് ദിസ് ഇസ് മീ ആൻഡ് ബെഞ്ചമിൻ ഇന്നത്തെ ഗുഡ് ഫുഡ് എപ്പിസോഡിൽ നമ്മൾ കവർ ചെയ്യാൻ വേണ്ടി പോകുന്നത് ഇസ് എ ഫോർ പോയിന്റ് ചാരിറ്റി ഇൻ ഇൻ ഫോർ പാക് കൊച്ചി സോ ഇറ്റ്സ് എ ഫൈവ് സ്റ്റാർ പ്രോപ്പർട്ടി നമുക്ക് അകത്ത് പോയിട്ട് തന്നെ വി ഗോണ് മീറ്റ് ദി ഫ്രണ്ട് ഓഫീസ് പേഴ്സൺ ആൻഡ് ഷീസ് ഗോൺ ടു ടേക്ക് മീ ടു ദ ജി എം സോ ലെറ്റ് ഗോ ഇൻ സൈഡ് Dinesh Rai yes. thank you so much for inviting us over here Pleasure so we we'll have Pleasure a please have a seat <laughs> yes thank yeah. you thank yes so tell us about four point and there's a few food festival happening over here the yes. uh, punjabi daba festival Ex- so exactly. you can talk about that you can talk about it's been how long the uh, hotel has been opened yeah etc <laughs> great great in fact it's You're an the right opportunity person for to me ask, to ask so i'm the, <laughs> yeah true exactly and i i I've seen this hotel in bricks initially so I will we opened the hotel okay um so to to begin with let me introduce myself completely I'm Dinesh Rai the general manager for the Four Point Sheraton in Kochi and uh, we opened this hotel on the Christmas Eve that's 24th of December okay. that's a very soft opening though but we did our grand launch in the month of February that's when we also called the chief minister to inaugurate and it was a great, very very successful launch for this hotel so we've been over but 5 6 months now Then, operational yeah. mm-hmm. and uh, our food and beverage has taken a very different turn so we've been mm. very very popular in terms of our food and beverage as well okay uh, so as as much as we are in for the rooms as well so which is why we thought we need to engage the people around uh, info yeah, park in the city around this Infopark, place because yeah. it's a multicultural place you mm-hmm. see um info park has people from different different places mm. so every time like you know uh, we need to get something or the other so some yeah. engagement activities yeah, that true. we want to do so which is why we thought like you know nothing best like you know why can't we do a punjabi food festival okay so you great we've got a great chefs uh, from punjab so like you know he does amazing makke ki roti sarso so the saag and the real authentic ones mm-hmm. so we said we'll do it but we'll do it in a very very grand very great way so we okay. decorated the restaurant we made props and all all those things so this actually food festival started uh, on the 29th and it's okay. going to go up till the 14th of uh, Uh, oh. July, July actually so that's uh, the that's a real crux and in fact we're getting real great great response for this okay and uh, so of course after this we probably have to do something or the other something different okay. you know so it's time to meet chef right now yeah sure. exactly i think you should be right here i think it's a time that uh, we should ma- uh, make make you meet the chef because he's the one who's cre- curated this entire food festival the punjab food festival okay. and it's superb uh, in his creation is awesome in terms of his uh, food management and engineering i mean i will always call it food is also an engineering so he's done an excellent engineering in terms of his menu engineering for for the food festival okay. so let us actually step out yeah. and then meet up sure. with him i'm sure he's eager to wait meet us as well sure. so these are like small props that we have created okay. uh, i mean great props so like a truck sit here Yeah, we can actually sit here and probably I like, can could have had a had a chat on uh, so you're something. So going to meet like, the chef you know, from so here. Can, chef, you can you yeah, have can, to come can, here and meet us. I can us. Like, drive you to the chef. <laughs> so, hi chef. <laughs> Hello. So, Hello ma'am. And yes. Yeah. Hi, hi, hi chef. How are you doing? So we're going to stand this, here and talk to the chef. Yeah. Yes. This may be the first time so that you, you you see that you can actually put your hand out from the wind. <laughs> so true. Yeah. So great. We'll just go outside and talk to chef. Yeah, yeah. Great. Thanks. Yes. So that's us. That's our executive chef, Chef Saurav Singh. Hey, he has great amount of experience, and he is is has great hands. As I told you, he's he's an a engineer. scientist. He's an engineer <laughs> for the for the food. So he's uh, superb in this uh, field. So I think I'll leave you with him. Yes. So and uh, you can take it forward from there. Yes. And I'll meet you again. I think okay. we we yeah. should have sure. our, our dinner, and then we should uh, you sure. should tell us, give us a feedback on the definitely, food. Definitely. Definitely. Yeah? yeah. Thank you. So I'll see you. so we are at titri where okay. we are doing that punjabi festivals okay. we have we have started uh, exactly. from 29 to 14th and then see that you know you, uh, the guys are there in a punjabi uh, uh, attire so, yeah, and they look <laughs> awesome and uh, we are doing that entire festival in this place and then and especially that uh, punjabi festival which we are doing on our dinner time okay. and at around the 7 to 11 and mm-hmm. we have lot of uh, stuffs we talk about Uh, Punjab is like you know one of the favorite inside, yeah. uh, one of the favorite uh, uh, cuisines in India if you can talk in terms of the richness of the food uh-huh. and then the food what we uh, make in the Punjab basically 
uh, the kebabs and all are very famous uh, okay. in, in Punjab. Plus, we have, we are doing like uh, sarso ka saag, makke ki roti, mm. and uh, we are doing uh, like a, a traditional Punjabi lassi. And then uh, we have a lot of stuff. You know, talking about uh, Sikh kebab, we have uh, bati damur, we have like dahi kebab, and uh, we have a butte ka tikki. And okay. also like you know, vegetarian also has a lot options out there in that. We have uh, the foods in. Uh, we can talk about like uh, Vadiya is very famous in Ambanja. Vadiya basically the Vadi is to be made with the lentils, different variety okay, yeah, yeah, like yeah, yeah. Mundal ka lentil mm. and then the Chana dal ka lentil. Mm -hmm. So it's a very famous in Punjab. It's also Punjab is basically we talking about agriculture friendly place like a lot yeah. of agriculture is there and it's also like lentil noodles are very famous there. Mm. So the Vadiya is also one of the dishes which you will able to see there okay. and also there they are eaten a lot of uh, non-vegetarian dishes okay. uh, in terms of like liver mm -hmm. uh, liver we are talking about like a kima kaleji we are talking about we have a butter chicken or like a, a love of dar yeah. we have a paneer is also a very famous dish yeah. like a kadai paneer paneer love of dar and then so these a are lot the of dishes actually uh, to mention right <laughs> <laughs> so these dishes are popular dishes okay. and we do one of the uh, the best you can we can talk about like kulcha chole oh, kulcha, kulcha. Yeah. so amritsari chole kulcha is also a very famous dishes and uh, I was there in Amritsar for a long, I was there for three and a half years in that place. Okay. And then I've been in that north region uh, in a long time. Okay. So I have a strong hand in terms of the food, okay. the, what food we are what doing it in our Punjab. Okay. So I'll like, I'll, I'm trying to uh, uh, give the taste of the Punjabi food to all of the guests. And the guests are all enjoying the food. Okay. So almost we have, we have seen there is a huge amount of the people are coming and dining with us in a dinner time. And they all love the food and they're enjoying a lot. That's great. So, we heard much about the food, we heard about the chef, we heard it from him. So, we'll go inside the kitchen and All then right. we'll start cooking. Okay? Done. Yeah. So, in the cooking you want to start in Vendipona is with the favorite butter chicken. So, it's. Uh, so, you know. uh, so uh, like, I'll, Punjabi food, we are talking a lot of things which we are cooking it here. But uh, you know, in, in a small stem of time, we can't showing you all that. But some of that uh, dishes, which is very favorite dishes, is going to show you that how to cooking on like we are starting from butter chicken to kulcha to like a bati damur. Okay. So we'll start now how to make Wait. a butter chicken. Butter okay. chicken is specially that we talk about butter chicken. It's a butter and chicken. So we'll start from there that uh, how to temper first. Like uh, first, you have to put a little bit of uh, butter, like a melted butter on. The pan. This one is basically ginger garlic. Okay. Ginger garlic sir. Little bit of like a deggy chili powder. Okay. Just for the color? The color and the little spice. Okay. So the main thing is this um, paste. A uh, paste. That's a tomato paste. So now this uh, uh, first tempering is, is almost done okay. and then if you want to add little bit, you uh, you want a little more spicy, you can add a green chilli as well. Okay. Otherwise the ginger garlic paste is enough and we are adding already uh, uh, the red chilli powder. Okay. And then you add this the paste. Uh, the tomato paste. So then now we will add this cashew nut paste. Cashew nut paste. That will give you a little richness to that uh, the, uh, curry. the gravy, the color and richness of the gravy. And then now we can add uh, chicken, you can add. Okay. You have to add, on the last, you have to add little kasturi methi. Okay. It's very important ingredient when you are making a butter chicken. Hmm. Little cream on the top. Okay, fresh cream, no? Yeah. And then the butter. Okay. So the main ingredient as such is the uh, paste, the yes. tomato paste, tomato paste and, and the cashew, cashew nut paste. Now the butter chicken is ready. So I am inviting everyone to come and dine with us. This Punjabi festival is going on uh, in our place and then you can come and enjoy the meal. Thank okay. you very much. Yes.
ओके सो नम्बर सेकंड डिश ये हमें नहीं पोहा ना वैसे आप व्हाट इज इट इन गिव एन एक्सप्लेनेशन अबाउट दैट सो नाउ वी आर गोइंग टू मेक दैट वट्टी का मुर व्हिच इज आल्सो अ ट्रेडिशनली वेरी फेमस डिश इन पंजाब एंड देन द रीजन इज इन अमृतसर एरिया तो मोस्टली दैट इफ यू कैन फाइंड आउट देयर इज अ स्ट्रीट विद वट्टी का मुर व्हिच इज बीइंग मेड एंड इट इज अ हाउ इज इट प्रोनाउंस भट्टी भट्टी मींस लाइक द तंदूर इज कॉल्ड भट्टी ओके लाइक वेयर द भट्टी का मुर हां भट्टी का मुर इज लाइक अ तंदूरी मुर But uh, like a regional and traditional name is Bhatti ka mur. Okay. So uh, we'll be starting that uh, from the scratch. That how we are going to make. Five. So okay. first of all, you have to take the chicken, okay. which is should be a boneless chicken. Okay. So thus you marinate with a little bit of ginger garlic paste mm. and the chili powder and okay. lemon juice, and okay. you keep it there for almost three hours. And then after that, you have to make a marinations for that. So I'll start from uh, this uh, hang curd. You keep that hang curd, little bit of hang curd. little bit of chili powder in it okay and little bit of ginger ginger garlic paste okay little bit of mustard oil here is little garam masala if you want to use that okay garam masala mm -hmm. little jeera powder okay and then we are nice not oil. like we should be using a Any black salt. Reason? Black salt. The taste, the taste is all about taste. Normal uh, salt you'll use, so it'll not enhance the taste. Okay. So that's why you use that little black black salt in, and then you whisk it. And now we have to add this chicken. See that is all marinated. Nice. Chicken marination is ready, okay. and now we have to cook that tandoor. Okay. Fine. So we're doing it here, no? Ah, so it will. I like you to give a rest for an hour or okay. two hour, okay. and then after that you have to cook it in tandoor. Okay. So this is the one which. This is uh, we are talking about. So I'll put it in sariya. Now we are going to put in tandoor. Okay, so so it will take six to seven minutes to cook, and now we'll cover it. See that? Yeah. So, number three, we have to dish this. I am going to put on our kulche, right? So, this all I am going to make is just our curry and bread. So, obviously, we have to make something like that. So, you tell us about this. Ma'am, uh, uh, when we talk about kulcha, it's kulcha is a traditionally in Punjab is very famous, and then uh, uh, kulcha is made up with a lot of like uh, energy. If we, we will see this, it's, it's a when in uh, in a, a northern region we talk about parathas are very famous like yeah. aloo paratha, yeah. gobi paratha, paneer paratha. Mm. But kulcha is more than that the paratha which okay. uh, we we make. Okay. So in the kulcha having a layer of uh, uh, like. Like the way that the krojo mm. supposed to be sewn, mm. the krojo having layer, mm. the kulcha having a 14 layer of the maidas, oh. like a seat, and then you have to put butter on that, and again you have to seat, and then you have to put on butter on that. So that's kind of the 16 layer we do that, and after that, uh, see that this is all the kulcha which we prepare. It's a it's a roll. It's a we have made a roll like a maida, and then then you have to seat a butter, then again the maida, and then after that we roll around. This is the shape, so like shape like this, and then round, and then we have to, we have to cut it. Okay. We have to cut it like this. So we have to cut in that way, and then uh, the kulcha, the stuffing is basically that uh, aloo, uh, like a potato ska mixture. Mm. That the potato is there, onion is there, chili is there, jeera powder is there, lemon juice is there, mm. and then we do a stuffing on it. Okay. And then we have to put little bit. 
bit of water so that will stick properly in tandoor because tandoor is very hot okay just so now that we are going to put the kulcha inside the tandoor and then tandoor usually you know the tandoor temperature is to be like more than 350 degrees centigrade okay. but when we wow. cook kulcha the kulcha tandoor temperature should be 180 degree Achha, so okay. the kulcha cooks little bit longer time mm. so kulcha one kulcha is takes 8 to 9 minutes to cook and then tandoori rotis and all we cooks in 2 minutes okay. so that's why the temperature is high and then kulcha is to be like a slow cooking method okay and this potato is already boiled and kept yeah, boiled, boiled and everything is okay so our kulcha is ready so kulcha is ready So the kulcha is almost ready, okay. and when we are serving it, we have to put a little bit of butter on top, and then you can serve. So you have to put a butter on top. Okay. And this kulcha is very crunchy kulcha. You see that the crunch. You can feel the sound. Yes. Kulcha is ready to go. Great. ोलटेड विथ ब्राउन अनियन Uh, brown onion and tomatoes and then uh, like little bit of almond powder mm. so a lot of marinades and like a garam masala okay. but there is no curd on it okay so that's you have to put in a barbecue griller chicken right chicken whole okay. chicken okay this is also this is already marinated and it's yet, already so marinated just show two pieces that's all yeah that's good sir So chicken we have already placed there. Okay. Now we will also show you that amrit sari fish. Okay, fish the marination uh, looks lovely. Uh, fish in uh, fish in Cochin is very famous. Yes. You can take your favorite fish, whatever the fish you oh, like to add. Which fish is this? Uh, this one is mahi mahi. We okay. We have uh, uh, mahi mahi fish is there, and usually either in a Cochin anywhere if you go easily yeah, you will get yeah, the mahi mahi. Yeah. Yeah. The marination is all like uh, the kasturi methi, chili, like a chili flex kind of stuff. You have to put it there. Mm -hmm. Green chili, mustard oil. Okay. And the What little bit of little bit of that you have to put a rice powder. The rice powder is also in question. Is you can easily you'll get it. Rice powder. The rice powder is a, like a binding agent. Mm. And the lemon juice. So marinate it and lemon juice and keep it there for almost uh, like four five hour inside that chiller and then in the fridge mm. and then you can fry it. Okay. So what? Which oil have we used in? That's this? a mustard oil. Mustard oil. And what are the seeds inside this? Seeds basically. Coriander. This, uh, you're talking about coriander, kasturi, kasturi, coriander, kasturi okay. methi, chili flax. and then the green chili okay. ginger garlic paste mm. okay so and then we have marinated and then now we can fry right. it so now the fish is also ready and the chicken is almost Just you have to put a turn on it. It's a barbecue chicken. See the color of chicken. This is also ready, and chicken is almost ready. Okay. So there's That's a lot great. of there is a lot of stuff to uh, dine here and experience here in Punjabi uh, cuisines if you can talk about. Like we are making a bira chicken, we are making so the fish is also frying. Yeah. Where we have a bhatti the more kulcha, and the, the one thing which uh, we have not shown here, I think here you will come, then I'll show you there. This is a, a special dish called sarso ka saag and makki ki roti. So I'm invi inviting everyone to come and enjoy thank that you. meal with us. Yes. So thank you so thank much. Thank you very here. much. Yes, thank, thank you very you much. Thank you for showing all this. Now I'll go and taste all this. Food, Definitely, okay? ma'am. Yeah. I'll send it across to you. Yes. <laughs> all right. Thank you, and then I'm waiting for you. So we done with the cooking and we have some really yummy Punjabi food on the table mm -hmm. and we have a GM with us. Yes. So, so did you did you really witness the cooking how yes, it was? Yes, very much. And he said there's a lot more, yeah. but he just kept it to a very little because of the time constraints and things like that. So he's uh, put yeah, across yeah. something very new. That's yeah. This something is something new. 
this is something really authentic of uh, a Punjab, you know. I'm sure he must have told you Makki ki roti is one of my favorite, honestly. Okay. You should try it. It's I think with jaggery. Yeah, with okay. jaggery, and then you know this is sarsoga the uh, saag, which is like you know the the spinach uh, one. Okay. It's okay. A real, real good uh, one, and this is basically makka is uh, corn I'll try flour. It. So you should you should try it. I think you should uh, you should try. Right, it's a pure yeah, 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 exactly. Lovely. I'm having this for the first time, so yeah, yeah, good. <laughs> so, of course, there are a lot of things. Uh, the another thing which is favorite of mine was the is the uh, you know, Amritsari kulcha. Okay, so that's uh, something really good. I think you should, I think yeah. we will yeah, share we it. Share, yeah. <laughs> You know, in um, south of India, you must have had a lot of fish. Hmm. You know, but if you have, if this you have the Amritsari fish, that's really good. Yes, you're taking me through one by one. Yeah, of course. <laughs> Different. Very different, you know, very different. Compared to the um, so you you won't exactly completely different. completely, and it's very very different, and that's how that's yes. how. Then when we when we sometimes say like you know why do you really uh, you know the North Indians feel the taste different? Okay, this is what it is, you know. They have mm. a different way of making it. We have the South Indian uh, people would have a different way of making. And but the of coriander course, seeds is put in as it is exactly, like that. Yeah? Exactly, exactly. So you can actually buy the taste of that. In yes, bread. yes, yes. Thank you so much for inviting us. Yeah. And guys, you must come and try out this Punjabi uh, food festival that's yes. happening here in the Four Point Sheraton, Kochi, uh, near Info Park. I mean, not near Info Park. It's, it's in, really near Info Park. In, as in, well, in Info yeah. Park. So do yeah. come here and try out all the food over here. It's happening till the July. Uh, so it's happening until July? the July 14th. Uh, July yeah. 14th. So yeah. um, yes. So that's about it and all the very best to you. Thank you so yeah. much. Thank you really. Uh, I mean, we really, really appreciate that you have come. And uh, for everyone, uh, happy Punjabi Food Festival. <laughs> <laughs> Great. I'll catch you all next week in a new place with some more good food. Till then, bye.